Okay, well, I am going to get started because I think we have everyone here. Good afternoon, I'm Linda Roberts. I'm the manager of the Illinois Nursing Workforce Center. Welcome to the webinar. Are you a nurse wanting to educate future nurses? The Illinois Nursing Workforce Center is teaming up with higher education institutions across the land of Lincoln to bring you a series of free webinars about the graduate faculty nursing education programs in Illinois for you to consider. We want you to explore the programs and find the right one for you. Today's webinar will highlight in alphabetical order four programs, Lewis University, Mennonite College of Nursing at Illinois State University, St. Francis Medical Center College of Nursing, and the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. The webinar is being taped and will be available on YouTube. A bit of background on the Nursing Workforce Center. The Illinois Nursing Workforce Center, formerly the Illinois Center for Nursing, is Article 75 of the Illinois Nurse Practice Act and was created in 2007. The Workforce Center's mission is to advocate and ensure for the appropriate nursing resources necessary to meet the healthcare needs of the citizens of Illinois. As part of the Illinois Department of Financial and Professional Regulation, IDFPR, it is the only health policy board within the state regulatory agency. This advisory board meets six times per year. Okay. The Nursing Workforce Center website is nursing.illinois.gov spell out nursing, N-U-R-S-I-N-G dot I-L-L-I-N-O-I-S dot gov. It has useful information and resources. The website nursing.illinois.gov includes education, license renewal, and more resource information. For example, there are license renewal, continuing education fact sheets for LPNs, RNs, and APRNs. There are lists and links to all Board of Nursing approved pre-licensure nursing education programs, all baccalaureate completion programs physically located in Illinois, and 90% of their courses are available online, graduate nursing education programs located in Illinois. There are data and reports, all voluntary RN, LPN, and APRN post-license renewal reports from 2014 to the present are there, and a few older reports. There are also links to the license renewal portal, endorsement application, open faculty positions in Illinois nursing education programs, and internationally educated nurse resources as well, and more. Next. Some of the work of the Nursing Workforce Center is through partnership. The Nursing Workforce Center works with state agencies, nurses associations, nursing education programs, employers, and state and national foundations to focus efforts on the nursing workforce. For example, of a partnership with the Illinois Board of Higher Education, Nurse Educator Fellowship Program is an annual $10,000 salary stipend application. With the Illinois Department of Public Health Center for Rural Health, there's an annual nursing education scholarship program. Funding is from the nursing dedicated fund, which are the nurse license renewal fees. There's also a partnership with the Illinois Healthcare Action Coalition, IHAC, partnership with ANA Illinois and the Illinois Organization of Nurse Leaders. The IHAC partnership is also with the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Future of Nursing 2020 to 2030. Nursing education post licensure resources. The Nursing Workforce Center website includes links to Illinois post licensure and graduate education resources. There are baccalaureate completion nursing education programs, graduate nursing education programs, graduate nursing education focus areas leading to system focused roles, including a grid linking these roles to colleges and universities. Graduate Nursing Education Advanced Practice Specialization, grid sharing which colleges and universities have the APRN roles and various specialty areas. The website has additional resources. The 
the IDSPR, there's also a link to the IDSPR nurse license renewal resource. There's the tab license slash renewal, which will take you to the IDSPR nurses page, which has the link for license renewal as well as resources. Resources such as how to print a copy of your license or download it onto your phone, how to change your address, resources and a publication tab for other license renewal resources for individuals and businesses, and a reminder that license renewal is every other year. These are but a few of the resources. And this is my contact information should you need to reach me. I thank you very much for listening. And now we go to um, Donna Martin and Lewis University if I can figure out how to stop sharing. I believe I clicked on stop sharing. Let me click on mute. Well, good afternoon um, and thank you for joining us. My name is Donna Martin and I'm a professor in the College of Nursing and Health Sciences at Lewis University. I'm excited to be talking to you today about nursing at Lewis, specifically the Nursing Education MSN. So Lewis was founded in 1932, and we are actually celebrating our 90th uh, year of being an educational institution. We also have had our nursing program for 50 years that helps to educate future nurses as well as current nurses. And we're inspired by its Catholic and LaSallean heritage. We have um, mission values of knowledge, fidelity, wisdom, justice, and the spirit of association. We have a rich, diverse student body and it includes uh, traditional age students and adult students and at Lewis we recognize that we must place students at the center and meet them where they are. So what could you expect at Lewis? Why would you want to come here? At Lewis you can expect that you'll have experienced faculty sharing their expertise and experiences through caring, supportive, and collaborative educational encounters. Each student receives an advisor that guides them through their educational journey. We offer small class sizes that foster student to faculty and student to student relationships as well as collaboration. And depending on what program you're in, classes are offered in a variety of formats. Face to face, typically that's in Romeoville for undergraduate students and in Oak Brook at our campus there for graduate students. We also have a hybrid format and we have online synchronous and online asynchronous. And Lewis has a wonderful reputation. Lewis graduates are well respected by employers due to the educational outcomes demonstrated by students in their clinical settings, as well as our excellent NCLEX and specialty certification pass rates. We offer a variety of different nursing programs. Um, and just to let you know, we have a traditional BSN, a back to BSN, which is someone with a bachelor's degree who's coming back to school to get their nursing degree. We have an MSN track that has multiple different options, a healthcare system leadership, nursing education, school nurse, and nurse practitioner that has multiple different tracks in it, as well as an MSN MBA. So the students in the Master of Science Nursing program at Lewis learn how to design and execute com complex healthcare strategies for the rapidly changing healthcare environment. Uh, we also have a doctorate in nursing practice that's a 30 credit hour program that builds upon advanced skills with coursework on quality improvement, evidence-based performance, and a systems approach. And that is uh, offered 100% online. So now let's focus on our nursing education track, which is what the focus is today. Our nursing education track is a 40 credit hour program leading to an MSN degree that's designed to provide a professional nurse with the knowledge and skills to assume educator roles in a variety of settings, such as the academic nursing education program, a clinical staff development position, continuing education, and community education. Incorporated into these 40 hours are 450 clinical hours, which, wow, that sounds like an awful lot. 
Um, and we've done that recently um, as we were ramping up to prepare for the new essentials clinical hour requirement. Um, we have some unique experiences in that, which I'll touch on in a few minutes. You can do that in an individualized pace. Typically, it's set up to complete the degree within eight semesters, but you can take up to five years to complete your degree, which takes into um, consideration the fact that um, many of us have life things happen, and sometimes you need to step out for a little bit. Here is our uh, list of courses that students take for their um, nursing education MSN. And there's the core courses that all students earning an MSN at Lewis take. Courses are offered in an eight week or a 16 week format, depending on which course. The majority of all of our core courses are offered in every format as well as offered every semester in an eight week format. Then we have our version of the three P's for our specialty core. And um, then we have our specialty track courses. The goal is, is that um, students would be able to utilize the knowledge and skills that they've learned during our program to successfully pass the certified nurse educator exam. So talking a little bit about our specialty courses. Uh, the nursing education courses provide students with knowledge and experiences in curricular design, instructional methodology, program evaluation, educational research, and these really allow students the opportunity to utilize a variety of teaching methodologies and strategies that are integrated into micro teaching opportunities, which we do with our undergraduate faculty. And then we have some very unique clinical experiences. And the reason behind that is to provide students with a comprehensive introduction to the nurse educator role and a robust hands-on experience. So students for their clinical components typically find their clinical sites, but the preceptor uh, and their preceptor, but our clinical placement office is available to help assist find sites and preceptors if needed. Our role transition course provides experiences for them in two different areas. The first one is um, a multidimensional role of the nurse educator in either a community um, hospital based setting or an academic role setting. And they would do that for 75 hours. And then we have an advanced direct care clinical practice role, which helps to integrate new learning and expand clinical expertise, and that's also 75 hours. Then we have our capstone courses, which run across two semesters. Um, so all of the clinical courses are full 16 week semesters. And with this capstone course, they're uh, able to use all of their core courses and specialty track courses to plan, design, implement, and evaluate a scholarly project usually related to an educational endeavor which culminates in a professional project presentation. This actually, between the two semesters, totals 300 hours. And examples of things students have done is they've created um, revised curriculum, they have done and developed tutoring programs, a uh, variety of different things. And these are options that students get to plan in relationship to the faculty. We also offer a non nursing uh, a nursing non degree program, and this would allow um, students to uh, utilize their expertise in without obtaining a, a degree in nursing education. So for these, the curriculum is designed to enhance nurse educator skills in a variety of settings and that the student will receive a certificate from the College of Nursing and Health Sciences and have official graduate credit on their transcript. So they take the three didactic courses that would be in the nurse education track. Our admission process at Lewis is rolling, so students can apply at any time and uh, they do get accepted generally or get their letter within a very short period of time. Students can um, actually start their courses at any semester, could be fall, spring, or summer, because the core courses are taken first and those are offered every semester. All applications are reviewed by the Department of Nursing Graduate Admissions Committee because of, we also want to take into consideration a holistic approach. 
Although we have our admission criteria here, um, we do take other things into consideration. But we do require you have an accredited BS, graduate from an accredited BSN program. You have to have your current licensure in Illinois or the state that you're practicing in. Uh, 3.0 GPA from your previous degree. There's a few other prerequisites, a statistics course and a nursing research course. We ask for two letters of recommendation, one from a nurse with a master's or doctoral degree in the specialty for which you're applying. And the second would be from a current supervisor or manager, a resume, and then an essay explaining um, your goals for admission in completing this degree. Again, we do take that holistic approach, looking not only at the GPA to allow students who may not have done as well in previous degrees to be able to uh, still come back for their master's degree. And there are some opportunities for financial assistance. We have um, our financial office, which is very helpful and provides a resource for students to locate financial resources. We have an employee tuition discount program with various clinical partners. We offer a frequent flyer um, alumni discount since the flyer is our mascot. And we have our Sigma chapter Epsilon Upsilon, which offers scholarship and research grant opportunities on an annual basis. I appreciate this opportunity to share with you today about nursing at Lewis. And if you have any questions regarding the nursing education, program, uh, please feel free to reach out to me and my email is listed here, martindo at lewisu.edu. And then for any questions in general about graduate admission, I've included here the uh, email or the phone number to contact the graduate office at Lewis University. Thank you again. Thank you very much, Dr. Donna Martin. Next, we will be having um, Mennonite College of Nursing at ISU, please. Sorry, I forgot to unmute my button. So um, can you see my screen okay? Now I can. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you for inviting me to be a part of this panel today. Um, I just want to welcome you to a glimpse of the graduate programs at Mennonite College of Nursing at Illinois State University, and we're located downstate in Normal, Illinois. I'm Kim Astroff. I'm the director of the graduate program at Mennonite. So ISU was founded in 1857, but I want to focus a little bit more on Mennonite right now. Uh, MCN was founded in 1919 by a group of Mennonite farmers who saw a healthcare need in our community. And since we have been dedicated to the vulnerable and underserved, we were a freestanding capstone program until we joined ISU in 1999 as their sixth academic college. Our faculty are fiercely dedicated to quality and the success of our students. We hope this is this is obvious through our mission and vision. We value lifelong curious learners and relationships with one another and our community. We strive to improve health, demonstrate excellence in our work, provide service to and care for others, and display empathy, openness, advocacy, and purposeful action in an environment that welcomes diversity while promoting inclusion and the celebration of personal and professional accomplishments. I will just mention a few of the features of Mennonite. We are consistently ranked among the best nursing programs by US News and World Report. We've got some unique graduate program offerings that are designed specifically for working nurses. The faculty and staff uh, who are devoted to student success every step of the way. We have faculty that teach in our prestigious undergraduate program on campus also teach in our online programs as well. 
We have small class sizes, even for online classes, that allow students to get to know their faculty and each other. And we have a dedicated academic advisor for the graduate program, as well as each student will have a faculty advisor. Cost is always a factor to consider. Illinois State University consistently ranks among the best bang for the buck colleges in the Midwest. We also extend the in-state tuition to residents of neighboring states. Full-time students on campus can take advantage of graduate assistantships, which include a tuition waiver and monthly stipend. And each year Mennonite gives away over 80 private scholarships to nursing students, and some are specifically designated for graduate students. Last MCN has is a preferred provider for some programs, for example, Advocate Aurora, uh, which means that if you work for an Advocate Aurora facility, they pay up to 100% of our program. Although we do not have a degree in nursing education, we have a variety of opportunities and graduate degrees that would accommodate the nurse who wants to teach. And I just wanna mention a little bit about that, that once a faculty is hired at MCN, we have a faculty development program that is offered throughout, especially the first year of employment, plus each faculty is assigned a mentor. ISU also has a Center for Integrated Professional Development, which offers a variety of classes to develop and enhance teaching skills, including online and classroom. All help new faculty who are interested in taking the certification for a nurse educator. Now we also have two doctoral programs in nursing, the Doctor of Nursing Practice or DNP and the Doctor of Philosophy or PhD with it, that would allow one to teach. So I'm gonna start with the two tracks in the DNP program. Our programs are designed by doctorally prepared faculty who actively practice. They know what it means to juggle multiple responsibilities and have design programs that allow students to balance work family, and their education. The Master of Science and Nursing degree programs previously offered at MCN have been absorbed into our new BSN to DNP program. To obtain an MSN from Mennonite College of Nursing, applicants will apply to either of the BSN to DNP sequences. There's a leadership sequence and a family nurse practitioner sequence. Once enrolled, the students may elect to complete only the MSN coursework and then stop out at that point to earn the MSN degree or they may choose to continue to earn their DNP degree, which we encourage. Students can take a break and restart within a year without reapplying. Past DNP students have commented on the faculty mentorship as well as the flexibility of the DNP portion of the program being online, while the yearly on-campus intensives allow students to connect and network with faculty and colleagues. These intensives are typically held on the Thursday and Friday of the week between the spring and summer semesters. And for the last couple of semesters, they've been synchronously on Zoom, which is also an option. The first sequence is MCN's prestigious FNP program that is renowned for providing an outstanding experience for our students. The pass rate for this program is currently 100%. For local students, MCN helps find preceptors for FNP clinicals. So as you can see, it's a hybrid delivery uh, for a total of 78 credit hours and 1,020 clinical hours. It can be completed in four years full-time or five years part-time, depending on which uh, track you're in. When I say hybrid, I mean that our core courses for this are online and asynchronous, but the specialty and the support courses are face-to-face -face on campus. There's a a uh, specific September 1 to February 1 application time for a fall start. Currently, MCN students are qualified to sit for the National Certification Exam for Nurse Practitioners midway through their BSN to DNP program, which would allow one to work as an APRN while finishing the DNP coursework. This is the plan of study for the part-time FNP. Within this hybrid sequence, the first year Core courses are online and asynchronous, so those are just the, the ones that I had mentioned earlier. The specialty and support courses are held on campus during years two and three. And once uh, Nursing 477 or FNP4 is completed, the students can sit for their board exam. 
And you can look at the MCN website for the full-time plan of study. Next is the BSN to DNP sequence. And we strongly believe that nurses have important insight for making improvements to healthcare and policy change. That's why we built this curriculum to focus on leadership, health policy development, and patient advocacy. This sequence was designed again by doctorally prepared faculty who are practicing nurse leaders. Students gain mentorship from nurses affecting change and learn how to identify and implement real life solutions that can improve care in our communities. So as you can see, this is online and totally asynchronous for a total of 64 credit hours, and they will have a total of 1000 clinical hours at the end of the DNP program. It can be 4 to 5 years part time, depending on what the needs are. And the application period is September 1 to July 15 for a fall start, but we do have some flexibility with that. And I want to say that despite being all online, it doesn't mean on your own. Students will receive the same faculty involvement, care, and quality associated with an on-campus program. And graduates, graduates of this program will work in a variety of roles in clinical, educational, and administrative settings. Okay, as I said, this degree is designed to be completed in four to five years part-time. The MSN stop out is after the fall of year three and practicum hours are completed at a facility that we have an affiliation agreement with and often is where the nurse is currently working. And if we don't have an affiliation agreement, we can usually get those in place. And we also have a post masters DNP, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. But again, it's it's another leadership focused uh, program uh, that is delivered online asynchronously for 34 credit hours, and it contains 360 practice hours. So we will help the student get the hours that they need. As most know, the student um, needs to have 1,000 clinical hours post BSN to get a DNP, and we have practicum courses that would allow them to do that. Or a nurse can jump into a quality PhD program starting from the BSN. Our BSN to PhD program is ideal for nurses without a master's who want a fast and direct path to a doctoral degree. You can graduate in as little as four years in this part time online program and unlock a career in research and or teaching. Our programs flexibility fully online format makes earning the PhD more convenient. Students again receive the same faculty involvement, care and quality associated with our other online programs. By going directly from a BSN to PhD, you can save time and money over the traditional route of first pursuing a master's degree. Okay, this program requires 75 hours of coursework, including a 15 hour dissertation project and can be completed in as little as four years part time. The application time frame is September 1 through July 15th for a fall start, but again, there may be some flexibility with that. The online delivery is asynchronous, but we have three synchronous sessions typically per semester so that we can do some face to face work. MCN's faculty are nationally and internationally recognized for their work focusing on vulnerable populations, aging, simulation and more. Students are matched with one of these skilled faculty researchers as they conduct their own research. Additionally, our Office of Research, Scholarship and Innovation is here to help students reach their full potential. The plan of study is shown here, and there is a little flexibility built in. Um, but for example, we have a Can course. You have one minute. OK, thank you. Uh, a residency and re research for a total of three hours that can be taken any time during the program. So there are some other things that you can see here, but most of these classes again are offered with uh, work life balance in mind. We do have other programs on which we can provide more information, but so feel free to contact us to get that information. Application is simple. It's completing an online application and submitting official transcripts. There's no GRE required for our programs, and we simply need, much like other programs, a resume, essays, um, copy of your RN license, professional and academic references, and then you want to submit official transcripts when you begin the application process. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us. 
I've got my contact information there and Kyler Amel, who is our graduate academic advisor. We do have dedicated faculty who serve as program and sequence leads who are also available to give you more focused details. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Dr. Astroth. And next we will have um, Dr. Carol Etock from St. Francis Medical Center College of Nursing in Peoria, Illinois. Let me mute myself. Hello, are you able to hear me okay? Yeah, you're doing just fine. Thank you. Okay, great. Okay. Well, I'd like to introduce myself. Um, I'm Dr. Carol Etock. I'm the Dean of the Graduate Program for St. Francis Medical Center College of Nursing. Um, I also am in, in practice one day a week at a rural clinic. So I'm excited to share with you today about our Nurse Educator Program. So I wanted to share that our college is 117 years old. I'm proud to say that we have a rich heritage and a solid nursing program. We are a private, Catholic, single purpose institution. We were founded and we are operated by the Sisters of the Third Order of St. Francis. We are affiliated with OSF Healthcare as well. So our, our campus is located by St. Francis Medical Center and we have the opportunity to serve in a 600 bed medical facility. We are level one adult and level one pediatric trauma center. Our vision, while representing a solid um, standard of excellence, St. Francis Medical Center College of Nursing will provide local, will obtain local, regional, and national recognition by providing the highest quality undergraduate and graduate nursing education programs, as well as the best practicum experience. This will in turn prepare competent, caring nurses to deliver the highest quality care, education, and leadership. So we have uh, admission requirements, we have a rolling admission and you can start in the spring or summer. Uh, we require you to have a BSN from an accredited program. Uh, GPA is 2.8 for a master's or for postgraduate certificates of 3.0. The requirement is for a current unencumbered license uh, along with a personal essay and letter of recommendation. We do have several graduate programs. We are highlighting today our nurse educator program, but also we offer adult gerontology, acute care nurse practitioner, family nurse practitioner, neonatal nurse practitioner, adult management, I'm sorry, nursing management leadership, and psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. We do have uh, four postgraduate certificates, and they include nurse educator, adult gerontology acute care nurse practitioner, family nurse practitioner, and psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. We, have, we offer the DMP in two specific tracks with leadership or clinical. So our Masters of Science at Nurse Educator Program provides students with expert knowledge and experience in the dynamic role of the nurse educator. Nurse educators can be found in any aspect of the healthcare environment, and our program provides a knowledge base for preparing students for various roles. So during the program, the student learns the foundations of learning um, various roles and issues in nursing education and evaluation and assessment techniques that are vital for educators to know. The practicum experience places a student in the role of the educator, working alongside the experts in their field, giving the student an intimate view of the role. We are blessed to be a part of the OSF healthcare organization so that we have students in all units of the hospital gaining priceless experience. 
After completing the practicum, the students have expert education knowledge and are truly prepared to step into their nurse educator role. Very similar to some of the other programs that we've already heard today, um, the graduates will be able to develop and implement and evaluate the curriculum. Our program is 33 credit hours and 384 practicum hours. Our length is six semesters over two and a half years. Our course is offered online and asynchronous. Here is the list of our curriculum and courses required to complete this degree. Then they will be able to sit for the certified nurse educator exam. I'd like to mention our scholarship opportunities. We have over 600 donors giving to students who meet specific criteria. St. Francis also offers a scholarship for students who work specifically in the hospital upon graduation. So currently our healthcare system is offering a waiver to employees uh, to complete their BSN. And again, I know we're talking about the nurse educator, but it's an opportunity for nurses to get their BSN and the waiver that OSF is offering. We also have federal loans and private loans. So for St. Francis Medical Center College of Nursing, we prepare our students to provide their greatest care and love. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you for your time today and thank you for the opportunity for hosting this webinar that we get to share about our colleges. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Etak from St. Francis Medical Center College of Nursing. Next, we will have Dr. Teresa Krasa um, at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Let me mute. Uh, Teresa, I believe you're muted. Uh, increase the size of the screen. All right. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And can you see my slides? Can no, I have, I have a blue screen. How about there now? There you go. There you go. All right. Hi. Uh, I'm Dr. Teresa Crossa from University of Illinois at Chicago College of Nursing. Uh, Actually, I'm not at University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Um, we are at University of Illinois at Chicago College of Nursing, which has six campuses. The main campus is in Chicago, but we have Kansas campuses at Urbana-Champaign, Springfield, Peoria, Quad Cities, and Rockford. And I'm here today to talk to you about one particular program, which is the Teaching and Learning Nursing Cert Certificate. It's actually the full name is Teaching and Learning in Nursing and Health Sciences Certificate. I am the program I am the program coordinator of that program, and I'm also um, associate director at UIC's College of Nursing in Urbana-Champaign. The Teaching and Learning Nursing Certificate uh, is very important. It prepares uh, those for career and education in a variety of types of contexts. Uh, the courses include uh, courses on theory and processes related to instructional design and delivery, learner assessment, evaluation, and curriculum design and development. And we have another course that is part of the certificate, which is a capstone course where students apply and synthesize this content that they've learned in the didactic courses in a practicum experience. It's 90 contact hours that is individualized to the student's needs, interests, and goals. At UIC, we're very passionate about education. We are very passionate about uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And we want to uh, contribute to the level of nursing education in all Illinois. And that's why we're one of the reasons why we want to have excellent nursing faculty. And that's the reason for this program is to 
provide education to those who wish to teach nurses. We'll go to the next slide. Now, the certificate, it is for an ideal for anyone wishing to join a nursing or health sciences faculty or to become a staff educator, health educator, or client and patient educator. It is also for experienced educators who are preparing to take the National Leagues for Nursing's Certified Nurse Educator Certification Exam to become a certified academic nurse educator. And students who wish to sit for that, that exam, they will also need a master's or doctoral degree in nursing and experience an academic faculty role. But I would refer those uh, interested in that, taking that exam to the NLN website about that for, for more information. The teaching certificate at UIC is designed for the current or incoming UIC College of Nursing graduate students as well, who are interested in trans transitioning to an advocate academic uh, teaching or staff development. And our current UIC graduate students at the College of Nursing can enroll in our certificate program, or they could just take the individual teaching courses as electives. Uh, to do this, they would need permission from their academic advisor and from the certificate program uh, coordinator, which is myself. So we ours, our view at UIC is that we don't have a separate master's in nursing education. We have a certificate that serves different groups, those from the outside of our university who would apply to, to become certificate students, those that are enrolled in our, our classes already as DMP students, PhD students, or the Advanced General Master of Science or Graduate Entry Master of Science students. To apply for the certificate program, the applicant application deadlines are July 15th and November 15th, so fall and spring application deadlines, and the link is shown there. The applicants have to have a bachelor's degree and a minimum GPA of 2.75 out of 4.0. We admit to our teaching certificate program and our other certificate programs during the fall and spring semester. Prospective students are encouraged to complete the application process early. All application materials, including unofficial transcripts, recommendations, and resumes, and a supplemental application form may be submitted by the deadline for full consideration. But we know folks are very busy, and we welcome all to our university. So for the certificate program, the applicants are generally notified of their admission status within 30 days of the application deadline. So you'll get a quick turnaround to your application. So what is the required coursework? There's four courses. There are three semester hours each. And so the certificate is 12 semester hours. The first three are didactic courses, which are fully online, asynchronous, and can be taken in any sequence. The, I'll explain what those courses are in a moment, but it's courses NUEL 510, 511, and 512. The capstone course, NUEL 513, is a teaching practicum which is, must be taken in the final semester. There is no transfer credit that can be accept, accepted for the certificate. The, uh, let me explain the courses. There are four courses in the teaching certificate program. The first one has to do with instructional de design and delivery for nursing and health sciences. So it's a comprehensive introduction to teaching and learning theory, teaching methods, teaching strategies for instruction, an enhancement of learning in the classroom. And it, it also focuses on teaching in the classroom, teaching in a clinical setting, in a lab setting, and an online setting. This course is totally online. The NUEL 511 Curriculum Processes in Nursing and Health Sciences, it is a comprehensive introduction to the processes rely, uh, relevant to designing and implementing a curriculum from foundational concepts through outcomes monitoring. It is also fully online. For these courses, students do some individual assignments, do um, nearly every weekly uh, discussion on, online. There are some group projects. For example, in the curriculum course, they learn how to develop a curriculum for a hypothetical uh, nursing program, for example. The third course is NUEL 512, which focuses on evaluation assessment in nursing and health sciences. So they learn evaluation theory. They learn how to develop a test, how to read an item analysis. 
how to evaluate students in classroom, clinical, and lab settings. They learn some about program evaluation and evaluation of faculty. That is a completely online class. And the final course is the practicum course, the NUEL 513. It's called Teaching and Learning Synthesis in Nursing and Health Sciences. It is a face-to-face -face teaching practicum course that is 90 clock hours. So they learn how to apply in a real life setting these teaching theories and methods of instructional design and delivery, program evaluation and assessment, and curriculum processes in individualized types of settings. Now, this course has to be taken either concurrently or already have done uh, the 510 class or credit or concurrent registration in 511 class or credit and current concurrent registration in the 512 evaluation class and also in consent of the instructor. And I actually teach these all these courses. But I want to tell a little bit more about 513, the teaching practicum course. This course, uh, I as the program uh, coordinator, I match students with UIC College of Nursing faculty members uh, based on the students' interests and faculty availability. So our one of the strengths of our program was we find the preceptors for our students. The students uh, are mentored by the uh, faculty mentors as part of their practicum in either in uh, lab and clinical settings and also in didactic settings. So they're applying their ability to learn how to develop a lesson plan and to, to give it in a lecture setting. And they work in the clinical area under su supervision of the practicum faculty member. They have uh, check-in meetings over the semester with me, the student's faculty preceptor. Uh, several times during the semester, they write weekly logs and journals for me, which I grade. And there's other activities that they do. They have to do a very long self-evaluation. They have to give a lecture. They have to do a clinical activity, like run a post-conference. So for further information about our particular teaching and learning program, I would ask that you please and are welcome to contact me. My email is there to have more specific information about um, the application process and uh, the courses themselves. There's the link there. And also for general application process information, you can contact our College of Nursing uh, Office of Academic Programs. And I understand we can talk a little bit about other programs we have at our college, which are many. We are very much a top ranked university. We have a traditional baccalaureate program, which is a four year program, but it's a two year upper division program. We have an online RN to BSN completion program uh, for those nurses that are already registered nurses and want to complete their bachelor's degree. That is a totally online program. Our traditional Bachelor of Science Nursing program is a face-to-face -face program. Uh, we have two master's programs, a graduate entry advanced a Master of Science of Nursing for RRNs, thank you, um, and that's for people who have a bachelor's degree in another field who wish to switch careers and become nurses. Uh, that takes seven semesters. It's a rigorous program. We have an advanced generalist Master of Science for registered nurses those that have a bachelor's degree already in nursing and wish to have advanced journalist master science program. Um, we have a PhD program, which is internationally known. We have other certificate programs. We have a global health nursing certificate program, a school health certificate program, hospitative hospice and palliative care program. And we also offer post DMP certificates as another option. And finally, we've got a DNP program that has 12 focused areas. An adult gero acute care nurse practitioner, acute adult gerontology primary care nurse practitioner program, family nurse practitioner program, advanced population health nursing program, health systems leadership nursing, DNP, nurse midwifery, neonatal nurse practitioner, psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, pediatric nurse practitioner primary care, and one for acute care, and women's health nurse practitioner program. Uh, there are so many programs, I, I don't have time to talk about them all, 
but many are nationally ranked. For more information on these programs, you are welcome to look at the uh, link at our website. Again, thank you so very much for giving us time to talk about our teaching certificate program. It's something I'm personally very proud of. And if you are, uh, you're welcome to contact me if you have questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, you Dr. Very much, Dr. 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 University, University of Illinois of Chicago, Chicago with the six campuses. campuses. We are we done with yeah. all of our presentation. Chris, um, is there anything else we need to do for this um, webinar? I think we're in good shape, everyone. Thank you for participating. Thank you all, every, everyone. We um, hope you all go on and become nursing faculty. We appreciate you making time and spending it with us today. Thank you much. Goodbye.